Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called flumazenil, and flumazenil is also known by its brand name, which is romazicon. Romazicon is a benzodiazepine antagonist or an antidote. Your mechanism of action is that it reverses the sedative effects of benzos by antagonizing the action of benzodiazepines on the central nervous system. Your indications are going to be respiratory and central nervous system depression due to benzodiazepine overdoses. So very similar to the Narcan of narcotics. As always, before we get into dosages, I just want to remind you guys to abide by your local protocol and always stay within your scope of practice. Your first dose is going to be 0.2 milligrams IV or IO over 15 seconds. Your second dose is 0.03 milligrams IV or IO over 30 seconds. And your third dose is 0.5 milligrams IV or IO over 30 seconds. If there's no response, you can repeat this every minute up to a max of 3 milligrams. And and in pediatrics, it is not recommended at all. Your contraindications are going to be seizure-prone patients, tricyclic antidepressant overdoses, and a coma of unknown etiology. Adverse reactions can include seizures, dizziness, agitation, vomiting, headache, confusion, visual disturbances, nausea, dysrhythmias, chest pain, hypertension, but the most commonly reported one is seizures. Your drug interactions are going to be tricyclic antidepressants. This can cause deadly consequences, and it is supplied in 0.1 milligram in 1 ml vials. A few side notes about flumazenil. It is important to remember not to give it if there is any indication that this could be a combined drug overdose. So earlier I mentioned it's like the Narcan of narcotics, and it is very similar to the Narcan of narcotics because it is an antidote for a benzo overdose. However, there's a distinct difference between the two aside from one is for narcotics and the other one is for benzos, and that is across the United States, many protocols suggest Narcan can for a coma of unknown etiology, meaning if you don't know why the patient is unconscious and responsive, try Narcan. You cannot do this with flumazenil because of the risk to the patient. If you don't know why they're unconscious, if there's more than just benzos in their system, flumazenil is not indicated at all. If a patient is addicted to benzos, dependent upon them for whatever medical condition they have, or that they have a history of seizures, you shouldn't administer romazicon because of the high likelihood of seizures after administering. So just imagine you have a patient that is addicted to benzos and you give flumazenil out in the field and they end up having a seizure. What do you give them? So that is why you'll see a lot of 911 EMS services do not carry flumazenil because of the high risk of seizures to the patient. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical advice, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you next week. Bye!